Holy crap, things happen so fast. Oh man. I just shot a buck. Holy crap. I was just scaling these cliffs, following these tracks for the last probably two hours. I finally caught up to him. He's a big guy. Oh, I shot him, he took off, but uh, he's hit good. So I'll give him a minute and we're gonna go track him. Holy crap, you guys. I think we did it. We did it. Oh my god, the snow's help. This is what it looks like here. He was standing right there where I shot him. And he took off and he went that way. And I came from over here. I was following these tracks. Holy crap, man. I didn't even get that on video. It was just way too fast. Oh, shaking, shaking, wet, cold. This is a new spot too, let's go look for blood. Let's do it. Okay, I found his bed, he was bedded right here. Oh, I didn't see him because these trees are blocking the way. No wonder, I bumped him and came over here. So he was bedded right here. There should be some blood right here somewhere. Let's go look and see. We got blood. It's not too thick though, but I watched him run off. He looked like a good hit. Yeah. I think he's too far. Oh my gosh, things just happen so fast. You guys kind of a view of what it looks like in here it's so thick so steep it is nasty in here i shot him from just over there he popped out there i shot him and he came down there so camera's getting wet i'm probably going to switch over to my cell phone i'll put some footage but we have a buck. Let's go see what it looks like. Okay, I'm gonna keep tracking. Yeah, the camera's getting away. I'm not sure how good this looks. I'm way up high. Super high up. Buck down guys We have a buck down Okay the camera is going crazy I'm going to turn it off switch to the cell phone Holy crap Buck down Oh my gosh He only went about 50 yards From where I shot him He's in there Oh my gosh, guys, you guys have no idea how hard this hunt has been. I'm so glad. Anyway, let's, let's cut to it. Buck down. Oh my gosh. Holy crap, I am so far from the truck. It's going to be some crazy. Okay, I haven't even touched him yet. Oh, let's go take a look. Holy crap. He's got a pretty good body on him. Oh my gosh. A little bit of a Roman nose going on there. So he's got some age on him. I don't know what the other side looks like, but uh, we'll pull him out. Oh my gosh. Holy crap. I'm so happy. This is my second black tail buck ever. This was such a crazy hike to come up here and find one of these guys. 
Just look how crazy this stuff is. I'm so high up. The other side of the mountain is just right there. I tracked this guy for two hours in the snow. The snow really helped. There was only snow at the top of the mountain here, so. Holy crap. Oh yeah, let's go pick him up. Oh my gosh. There he is. See what the other side is? Okay. So he's a three by two. Got a huge body on him. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with this guy. It's gonna be a hell of a pack. Oh my God, I'm so high up here. I don't know if I wanna do one trip or two trip, but it's gonna be crazy. 2023 Coastal Blacktail Deer. This has been the craziest hunt ever. This is the hardest hunt ever. Hunting these guys in this thick timber just so crazy you'd be lucky to even lay eyes on one so I'm so happy with this guy here uh, and uh, he's got a couple hours of daylight left so hopefully take some pictures um, and uh, let's go home we are done for the year I'm so blessed that uh, you know that I've been given this opportunity the whole time I was just hoping that I catch this guy so that's all I got to say, man. I'm speechless right now. Just one shot. And uh, let's break him down and uh, let's go home. We are done. Hey everybody, it is the next day, so the day after the kill. Um, I just wanted to make this last clip here uh, for those who are wondering, hey, what happened? Like, you didn't film the pack out or, uh, you know, the aftermath of everything. Well, this technically is the aftermath here. Um, so here we go with that. I was unable to pack the whole buck out by myself last night. Um, the conditions just didn't permit it for me. Um, there was a couple key factors that uh, played into that. So, um, yeah, when I left the house yesterday morning, I forgot my headlamp. I forgot my headlamp. It was still charging and I had forgotten that. So I had no way of seeing coming back down the mountain. Uh, by the time I was done boning out this buck um, and everything in the meat pack, I ran out of light. And I was about five kilometers up the mountain um, away from the truck. So, you know, I packed, I initially packed the whole, the whole buck into one meat pack, got it strapped in, got everything strapped in and, you know, was ready to come down. Uh, there was a couple gullies that I had to go through down some slippery snow and back up a couple times before I can even make my descent down the mountain. So, um... 
got the pack the, the pack on, took about 10 steps, and it was just slipping and sliding everywhere. You know, it was literally dark already by that time. So that was a big no for me. Um, and those of you who lived or who lives in BC, British Columbia here, especially on the coast here, um, this is early December. So if you guys can remember that we called, the weatherman called for an atmospheric river coming down, right? So it's it's Tuesday. So they called the atmospheric river on Monday and Tuesday. And Monday, yesterday, was the day that I got the buck. The rain didn't start pouring down until I got everything packed. It was coming down so hard. I realized that I didn't have my flashlight or or my headlamp. And I couldn't do it. I could I can pack the whole buck. It was just too heavy, too dangerous. A uh, lot, a of, lot of dangerous uh, obstacles all the way down. So, um, yeah, it was a tough decision to make. Um, my, I have two phones. So this phone that I'm holding here with me right now, I had a second phone that I use. Um, I have my ballistics app on it, my Eye Hunter, um, a couple of different apps that I use for hunting on it. That phone dead. It's gone. Um, it got soaked. My DSLR camera that I use for the video, um, that one got soaked too. So as you can see, right when I found the buck, the camera was getting soaked. You can see the quality wasn't that great. Um, I was getting some um, some error signs from the camera. So, you know, that's why I flipped to the phone. So this video, you can see that I, I, I'm half using my phone and half using the camera. So it's just because it was just so wet that the camera was dying. So yeah, so back to packing the debuck out. So I got, I had a second um, meat sack or a second uh, game bag. So I unloaded half the pack um, into a separate um, game bag and left that um, near the carcass. And I took uh, most of what I could, that I could handle, um, plus the, uh, the head with me. And I made the trek all the way down in the dark, in the dark. Um, think about it. 5K in the pouring rain under atmospheric river in the dark. Couldn't see anything. It was just feeling my way back. As you can imagine, yeah, I bailed quite a few times. Fell on my rifle quite a few times. Just slipped and slided and it just kind of came down in the dark. Um, it was miserable. Complete miserable. Um, I couldn't even imagine doing that again, but I probably will end up doing that again. It's just the way it goes sometimes for us. Come down in the dark. I knew that... You know, once I got to, once I got over those bluffs and those gullies, it was kind of just a zigzag straight um, downhill from there to the truck. Um, and I just had to feel my way. I've done, I've done this hike many times since, you know, October. So um, I kind of, kind of knew which way to go from there in the dark. So just kind of feel your way. Eventually your, your natural night vision kicks in. Um, but just think about all the different factors, right? You have weight on your back. You're tired from climbing up the mountain. Um, you got no light, um, and you're thinking about, you know, coming back up again the next day to get that second load, right? And all that combined, you're soaked to the bone. I'm, I was so soaked, all my rain gear, just it just pooped out. Everything pooped out. You know, you can have the best stuff, um, but in this crazy rain that we have here in the coast, I don't think anything's going to work. You know, eventually you're going to get soaked through. My boots were soaked through. We all know that when you have wet feet, it's game over, right? So everything is soaked. I'm shaking. Um, you know, my calories are down. I'm burning up a lot of a lot of energy. Uh, I'm coming down. And it took me about two and a half, three hours to get back to the truck, right? It was so, I was so soaked, so tired, so beat. Uh, got back to the truck. Warmed up the truck um, and jetted out of there, right? So the decision was either to go home, which is about an hour drive, and then come back the next day and, and pick up the load, or drive to the nearest town, which is about 20 minutes away, get a motel, warm up, get some food, dry up everything that I can. Um, I did bring a spare set of pants and a sweater. Um, so I was able to change into that. But yeah, anyways, I chose to go to the nearest town got a motel, texted everybody that I knew, all my hunting buddies, uh, my brothers who I also hunt with, and, you know, just kind of told them what happened, right? And, um, you know, so grateful that uh, 
um, a good hunting buddy, Andrew. You guys have seen him in my um, bear hunting videos there. Uh, there's actually two Andrews, but uh, one of the Andrews. I'm calling Andrew C. Um, he had today off. So uh, he had texted me and I told him, hey, I'll come out and, and help pack pack the buck off the mountain with you. So, um, of course, I'm going to take the help, right? I'm going to take the help. And I was so grateful for him to come out. So, anyways, back to the hotel. Got to the hotel, checked in. Uh, I was so soaked. I was so shaky that I couldn't even I couldn't even sign the um, the sign in waiver there. Um, even the guy at the hotel was asking, "Hey, you all right? You okay? Right? You look you look pretty you look pretty miserable." And I told him, I told him exactly what happened, right? And I told him, "I got to make the second trip up to the mountain tomorrow." And he just wished me luck, right? So, uh, got to the hotel room, tried to dry everything up. I couldn't dry anything up that night. Everything was just so soaked. The uh, the heater wasn't the greatest in, in that room either. So, um, fast forward to this morning, checked out at 6:30. Andrew met me at the trailhead at seven and then we got to um got to my parking spot around seven fifteen, and we made the trek all the way up back up there to to the um remainder of the deer and packed it off the mountain and back down and without him i honestly don't know how i would have been able to do it because the whole time going up my legs were just burning i didn't recover yet from the day before so uh, my legs were just done i had no energy yet i was in pain uh, everything was just sore and you know when you're in that kind of situation your mindset right it's going to go to the to, to to the path of least resistance so the whole time it was my, my brain was just telling me oh man you're not going to make it you know you're not going to make it you can't make it right but um luckily with andrew there with me uh on our way out we just kept shooting the breeze right we just kept talking talk about life you know talk about you know hunting stories all the way up and that really kept my mind off of things right uh, by the time we knew it we were at the top and you know we, we, we made it to the meat pack so um without him um uh, couldn't couldn't do it thanks andrew and um you know i i i gave him his he kept his portion that that he brought back to to the truck so i let him keep that you know and uh it's just one of those things you have to do right whoever whoever packs it off you know that that's their portion they get to keep right i couldn't do it without him so i hope you enjoy the meat andrew and um you know coming down we didn't film anything it was just the rain was even worse today than it was last night you know it didn't start pouring down until i started packing the, the buck out last night but today it was just pure rain all the way through soaked completely soaked luckily i got a shirt left to to just keep me dry and um yeah anyways we started the trek at 7 15 it is about 1 30 right now so all the way up and all the way down um you know it's just go to work get the get the rest of the meat down and go home that is it no time for cameras or anything like that although i'm doing a following up video here and that's how it went so um one thing for everybody always have a spare set of headlamp or or, or light source um, anything that you can get um put an extra one or two in the truck always double check when you have you know when, when when you're going over your gear because if you make the mistake that i did we're going to go through the same misery together so uh, it was pretty bad um i'm just glad that we made it out of it the buck is in the back of the truck we're going home and we're going to enjoy some good table fare of a nice coastal black tail buck for the end of the year here so that wraps up deer season for me um and uh, i hope that everybody who who give it all they they got you know was successful this year if not i hope you guys uh hope we all learned something um doesn't matter how seasoned we are there's every year we learn something new so um for those who are still trying trying there's still a few days left in the season good luck to you guys um and uh let's continue to share ideas and you know have success together so thanks for tuning in to this video it is one of the longer videos that i've done um, if it's a little boring, apologize for that, and we'll just continue to do better for next year. Cheers.